All right. Call Halam, Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah. Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shah Bashim, or call Kadash. Double honors to the apostles and elders at Great Millstone who taught us the truth. Honors and salutations to us in Seachim on the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth and sincerity and charity. All right. I'm a Hebrew Israelite. I come out here week in and week out, prophesying the downfall of America according to the Bible, man. And the main thing that our people like to like to run down is talking about that the scriptures has been tampered with. Okay? If the scriptures has been tampered with, tampered with, why is it that you see all the prophecies and the Bible starting to come to pass right now, man? If the scriptures was tampered with, why do you got Esau running to the Bible, you know, trying to use the Bible to try to, uh, basically, um, try to con con control the masses, you know? And that's being the devil in itself. What's the scriptures speak about? About Esau, which is the so-called white man, about them being the devil. And what our people don't understand, our people don't understand the meaning of words. And they don't like to look up the meaning and go back to the original text of the word. All right? So when we say the so-called white man is the devil, we saying that he deceives y'all, man. Come out, come out, y'all. And that's the reason why our people act the way they do, because they've been deceived. It ain't even that type of video. Oh. And you weren't even on camera. <laughs> But see, and that, that's a prime example right there. That's the reason why our people are destroyed. She's sitting here trying to pose and all that in front of the camera, man. You know? But anyway, man, getting back, everything that comes out this Bible is factual, man. And you can actually trace things back. Why? Because the Bible's a history book. But you people look at it as, as, as it's fiction, all right? But this is the book of First Peter, chapter 1, verse 20. Matter of fact, I'm going to start at verse 18. This is the book of First Peter, chapter uh, 1. Verse, verse 18, it says, In this voice which came from heaven we heard, when we were with him in the holy mount, we have also a more sure word of prophet of prophecy. So what's prophecy? The word prophecy means to speak before it happens. All right? Now how do we know what's going on before it happens? We read these scriptures, man. All right? Which was the spirit of Yahweh Shah's prophecy, man. That's why we come out here week in and week out to warn the people. Why the same way Esau has to warn you of their uh, false flags and all that, which they, which they put in codes, and that's why they call themselves the children of light, man. They call themselves the Illuminati, which the Illuminati means light. To illuminate means lit, all right? So so they, they got our uh, wisdom of this world, man, okay? But the Most High said he's going to take the wisdom of this world and make it foolishness, man. I'm not jumping ahead of myself. Uh, it says, it says, wherein too ye do well that ye take heed as unto a light that shineth in the dark place until the day dawn and the day star rise in your heart, man. So basically, we're supposed to be the light that shines into the world, man, this dark place. Because what's this place full of? It's full of darkness, man. All right? Everybody basically walking around here sleepwalking. They in that dark place. Matter of fact, like that movie, uh... Damn, I can't remember. Oh, uh, uh, Get Out. All you niggas is in a sunken place, man. You in that sunken place. 
And it's really hard for you to get out of it, man. You know? It says, uh, knowing this first, matter of fact, let me read verse 19 again. This is 1 Peter chapter 2 and 19. It says, we have also a more sure word of prophecy, whereunto ye do well that ye take heed. So you'll do well if you take heed to the words of this Bible, man. But what our people do, they walk by, laugh, joke, and don't want to hear the words that's coming out these scriptures, man. When these words that's coming out these scriptures is life. But everything that y'all want to partake in is death, man. You know? The same way it happened back in Yahweh Shah's time, which was over 2,000 years ago. And you can go back a little further than that. You know? And see what's really like, like, like the, uh, uh, Matter of fact, you know, you, you uh, in, in this society, you learn, the only history you learn in this society is how you were slaves and all that. Because they, they, they wiped away, basically they tried to wipe away from uh, uh, your memory who you were, man. That's why it says our people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge. All right? But if you listen to this, to, to, to our... With the brothers out here on, on, on the highways and byways, start with the apostles, the elders at TMS, you know, and the brothers that follow after the same doctrine, you know, you'll be all right, man. But the only time that our people are going to want to hear it is when it's too late, man. This is 2018, man. This is the year of prophecy. But you see a whole lot of prophecies happening. But niggas still want to pick up the Quran and say that that's the book. But as a matter of fact, you niggas don't even read the Quran, man. You'll sit back and listen to what another man said. But um, it says, whereunto ye do well that ye take heed as unto, as unto a dark place until the day, Salak, until the day dawn and the day star arise in your hearts. It says, knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scriptures is of any private interpretation. So that right there is a cut to all you Negroes talking about that the Bible's been tampered with. Man wrote the Bible and all that, man. The only way that the Bible's been tampered with and all that, you have Esau, they, what they do. They control the, the print and press. All right? But the truth is the truth. So it's certain things that they can try to bend and twist and all that. But at the end of the day, it's up to your how about some y'all shot open your eyes, man. And the reason why we come out here is we come out here in faith, man. You know? We come out here in faith. Because that's what this whole thing's about. Faith. We got faith to know that we know the name of the Lord, man. We know the name of the Lord is Yahweh, man. And his son's name is Yahweh Shai, man. Because if we didn't know that, we wouldn't come out here speaking in his name, man. And that's how you know that uh, 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 all these other, what they call them, alphabet camps and all that. All the mother dudes, they come out there talking about speaking in the name of Christ, man. Like them dudes on, 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 on uh, Kensington Ave, man. Which I'm going to keep getting on them dudes every week, man. Because every time I walk by, this I know them dudes just soft. I walk past the day on my way to camp, man. You know? And I told the one brother, I said, yo, the comforter is not Tazadak yet, man. Which I want to do a lesson on that, Lord's will, man. I said the comforter is not ties the dock. I said it's the Holy Spirit. It's Yahweh Shah. This nigga hopped on the radio and radioed into uh to whoever and they came out. Then I had to come back down to catch the bus or whatever. You know? And uh you you had the other guy come out and he was talking about me when I walked past. And he was like, yeah, he always come past saying stuff to us. 
this is that and the third. So I'm like, who, me? He was like, oh, and he pointed at me like, yeah. So them niggas, man, you know, they like, like they done, man. And I told them they need to repent, you know? But I says, um, cut here it go. Verse 20 says, knowing this first, that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man. So that right there is letting you know. The will of man, if you had your own will, you'll be doing what you want to do, man. It ain't no such thing as free will. But you people seem to believe, man. You know? You think, oh, I'm going to get up in the morning and do whatever I want to do. No, man. You ain't doing what you want to do, man. All right? And especially the men that the Lord woke up to this truth that come out here in the highways and byways, not in a million years that they think they're going to be coming out here and doing that, man. All right? So that right there... To you, uh, 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 Illuminati, Illuminati people, and I'm talking about to the elite. I don't even want to use that word, Illuminati, because that means children of the light. And guess what? They're the children of the light in this society. That's how I said. That's why I said, "How has Satan become the son of the morning?" What it says, um. For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man. So that right there lets you know that man didn't write the scripture. That's why I call Yahweh the Alpha and Omega, man. The beginning and the end. Why? Because he, be, he knows the beginning, he knows the end. Don't no man know that. Don't no man know what's going to happen to him tomorrow morning. Or in the next 10 minutes. The only person that knows that is Yahweh, man. All right? Verse, uh, verse 21 says, For the prophecy came not in old time by the will of man, but holy men of the Most High spake, spake as they were moved, by the Holy Ghost, man. All right, so that's like the men of the Lord come out here week in and week out. A brother, all they do is study, man. We don't know what we're going to say when we come out here, man. You don't sit home and, and, and prepare a lesson to come out here on the highways and byways and speak. All right? What you do, you read all week, you study, you do what you got to do. And then when you come out here, the most high puts the words in your mouth to speak. Now, what's the spirit of, of Yahweh Bashing Yahweh Shah? It's the spirit of prophecy, man. If you go into all these Israelite schools and all that, and all they teach you is that you're an Israelite. You know, they had the nigga woman on the back. Yo, on the back of this uh, dirt bike just now and shit, man. And guess what? She almost bust her ass. Both of them did, man. But you're not supposed to, you know, when you come out here, that's why this whole thing is about faith. Yeah, of course you're supposed to study. But like trying to prepare a lesson to come out here, I mean, that's cool. But eventually the spirit is going to take it the way it's going to take it. And move it to how it's supposed to be moved, man. All right, you might, you might prepare a lesson and be like, yo, I'm going to come out here and talk about the two-thirds. Then you'll have people come out here and ask you questions. That's why you're supposed to study, because the Lord will flip it and have you go in a different direction. So it ain't about your own will. And prophecy is telling you, man, like the things that's coming to America, which our people seem to not realize. The elite know. The elite of this society know it's coming to this place. And basically they cast a lot. Every 
every week, man. It's fucking loud ass car. The fucking car gotta be so loud for it, man. That's the whole purpose of a muffler. These dumbass niggas get these cars that sound like fucking motorcycles, man. Why? Because they want attention, man. The average nigga in America want attention, man. But you go and get the attention that you're seeking for. It's the book of 2 Timothy, 2 Timothy chapter 3 and 16, man. Matter of fact, I'm going to start at uh, verse 13, talking about this word right here. This is the book of 2 Timothy, chapter 3 and 13. It says, but evil men and seducers shall wax worse and worse, deceiving and being deceived, man. So that's talking about right now, man. All right? Why? Because dudes want to... Uh, uh, Try to try to um twist up the doctrine of the most high, man. Alright? They waxing worse and worse. And why? Because time is getting shorter and shorter, man. There's gonna come a time in the very near future where the men of the Lord, we ain't gonna be out here on the highways and byways teaching no more. Or speaking to you. And that's when you're gonna wanna come and try to ask for questions. Or ask questions and want answers, man. When they've been out here all this time. And matter of fact, as we speak, as we upload videos and all that, they get pulled off of our uh, off of, uh, YouTube, man. So that family of the word is coming, man. Where it's going to be a time where you're going to see, uh, um, you're going to see, uh, uh, troops on every corner, man. Whether it be NATO troops, or the UN, because they are interchangeable, man. And that's what the scriptures talk about. When it talks about the beast, the beast whose deadly wound, the beast was, was the Roman Empire, man. And whose deadly wound was healed, it's talking about right here in America, man. Because they were able to give power unto the beast. How was that, man? By the same system that the Romans ran, that's the same system that America runs, man. And if you don't believe me, if you grow up in America, America should have nothing to do with Rome or the Roman Empire. And you speak English in America. So why the hell, when you have a Super Bowl, which all you niggas love to watch sports, and you love the Super Bowl, why, why, why are they putting in Roman numerals? If this ain't a reincarnation of Rome. But the same way that Rome fell, America's going to fall, but it's never going to be able to get back up again, man. And this place is, matter of fact, I'm going to read that again, man, because it's a lot to speak about just on that, on, on, on that scripture alone, man. This is 2 Timothy chapter 3 and 13. It says, but evil men and seducers, seducers, shall wax worse and worse deceiving and being deceived man so you got a lot of deceivers out there and what the word deceiver mean that's just being a devil man because devil means deceiver man you know so they out there deceiving people and being deceived especially up there at that church down there man which is the uh so-called comforters church and that nigga's not no comforter, man. All right? Verse 14 says, But continue thou in the things which thou hast learned, and hast been assured of knowing of whom thou hast learned them, man. So you're supposed to continue in the things that you have learned. And guess who we learned from the apostles and elders at Great Millstone, man? That's why we give them double honor, because they taught us the truth, man. 100% true. And when you sit back and go and research all that, 
And the Lord, first of all, Yahweh Shem Yahweh has to open your eyes, man. All right? He has to open your eyes to the truth. Because if you can't see it, then you're still going to be blinded, man. You're still going to be chasing around and being deceived, like it said, man. And they waxing worse and worse. Because he started where everybody was cool with the 12 tribes, son. But now all of a sudden the 12 tribes sign is off. You know? You got niggas talking about Esau can be saved. You got all different type of doctrines, man. You know? Matter of fact, you got dudes that come in our GMS. They might get kicked out of leave or whatever. And guess what? Them dudes forget about the doctrine that they was taught and who taught it to them. And then they want to try to buck up against them. Instead of repenting and praying to Yahweh Bosh and Yahweh Shah, man, and humbling yourself and continuing the ways that you were taught, man. Because why was you brought in? Because obviously you knew that was the truth, man. That's how dudes become scoffers, man. You know? Verse 15 says, And that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation, through faith which is in Yahweh Shah Hamashiach, man. All right, so what? You got to read that again, man. Because a lot of dudes don't have that faith, man. Okay? You don't have that faith. It says, uh, and that from a child, matter of fact, start at verse 14. It says, but continue thou in the things which thou hast learned and hast been assured of, knowing of, of, of whom thou hast learned, have learned them, Salakia. And that from a child thou hast known the holy scriptures, which are able to make thee wise unto salvation, <coughs> Salakia, through faith, which is in Hamashiach and Hawashah, man. All right? So, through faith, like I was talking about earlier, man, yo, that's the spirit. Through faith, we know that what we was taught was the truth. All right? But you got a lot of dudes, they don't have no faith, man. So what they do, they was regular niggas in the street, and all they did was learn that they was an Israelite, so they niggas in, 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 in uh, being Israelites, man. And a lot of the dudes that was wicked in, in, in the ancient time that knew that they was Israelites, they, they knew that, man. So they knew how to uh, try, try to manipulate a person, you know? Be like, oh, uh, I'm going to teach you an Israelite. Then try to try to uh, get over on them, man. You know? And ain't nothing new under the sun. <coughs> so guess what? Satan trying to, you know, it says, uh, 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 the, 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 uh, Salakia. Satan's going to deceive you, man. You know? But 2 Thessalonians uh, chapter 2 and the third, the, 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 third uh, uh, the third verse speaks on that. About being deceived. Right? All right, matter of fact, I'm going to get that after this. It says, all the scriptures is given by inspiration of the Most High. And is, prof is it profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction, and righteousness, man. So whenever you have a matter amongst Israelites, what you're supposed to do, man? In righteousness, you're supposed to go through the scriptures, man. All right? You're supposed to go through the scriptures and, and, and sort things out. But 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 uh, our people, they don't want to do all that, man. They rather go out, listen to our dudes like Nathaniel, Yahana, Tazadakia, which those dudes is all wicked, man. And it tells you, man, you're not even supposed to teach another man's woman, man. You know? You're not supposed to teach another man's woman. But what those dudes do, they go out teaching other men's women. And they got them sitting up in their churches, man. So they dare wrong and they dead off. All right? 
So it says, uh, verse 16 says, All scriptures is given by inspiration of the Most High, and is profitable for doctrine, for reproof, for correction, for instruction in righteousness. So you're not supposed to, like I said earlier, <coughs> you got these Israelite dudes, man, they know that they're Israelites, so they try to get over on you. And they try to use the scriptures to be wicked, man. I try to use it for their gain, say, man. You know? What's that? What's that's being wicked? And then and them niggas basically they try to act like Esau, man. Cause you do have black devils out here, man. Black demons, man. Alright? Which a lot of them dudes know that they Israelites, man. And they use the scriptures to try to twist it up. And, and, and try to get over on, on another brother, man. So what's that's been? That's been a deceiver, man. Like them dudes down there on, on, on Kensington Nine, man. And I believe this is the third week I've been talking about them niggas, man. Why? Because them dudes they off, man. And they lead our people astray. All right. And right now the, the time, the time is, is, is too short for that shit, man. Like destruction is right around the corner, man. You know? You got Donald Trump meeting with uh, Kim Jong-un. You know? All, all these different things that's going on in the earth. Then you got, uh, uh, I, got I, I believe I, I, did a, I did a lesson on it this week. Which is our uh, uh, second letter, uh, chapter 15 and 16. It was just random scriptures that, was, that, that, that hit, my, hit my mind at the time. But I watched the video and I and I seen all the destruction. Man. And that's the year of prophecy. But our people don't believe that, uh, you know, that, that, that these things are going to take place. And matter of fact, you can see it right in your face, man. And what our people still want to do, they still want to be wicked, man. But it says, verse 17 says, that the man of the Most High may be perfect, truly furnished unto all good works, man. So how you do that, man? You got to keep uh, uh, doing the works, man. Look at how many times Yahweh Shai had to come back in the flesh so he was made perfect, man. From Adam to Isaac, so like from Adam to Melchizedek to Isaac, to uh, 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 Solomon, to Yahweh Shah, right? So that's a lot of different uh, reincarnations. That's why I tell you. But that's why I tell you in the scriptures, man, that, uh, You know that that like like it's not. I lost my train of thoughts. But yo, do do all that. Oh, it's like it says that um. Oh, it's no it's no new thing under the sun, man. You know, there's no new thing under the sun. And for dudes that have a problem, you know, with with uh Solomon, the whole Solomon. Being reincarnated as Yahweh Shah, man, then you out of pocket because can I, I believe it was, it's the songs where it talks about um matter of fact, man. 